Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna check out a Sydney local fish store known as Hertzville Aquarium. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. And yes, while I was in Sydney for Reef Stock Australia, I took the opportunity to check out Hurstville Aquarium because I'm not sure about you guys, but I follow these guys on Facebook and I have to tell you, they get in some of the craziest fish and corals that I see anywhere. So uh, I could not miss the opportunity to go in store and have a look myself. And let me give you a very short little spoiler here. They had some absolutely cracking fish in there. I've never seen before in person. So um, make sure you stick around for that. But it wasn't just that, despite being a fairly small store, they have a huge range of dry goods, including some fairly unique things you don't see at most other local fish shops, as well as a very good assortment of freshwater fish, plants, no shortage of corals, and of course, some fish that are not just those once in a lifetime fish, but some more of your bread and butter fish for the marine world as well. So um, I guess there's probably no more need for a pre-ramble from me. Let's roll the footage and let you guys see Hertzville Aquarium all for yourselves. Let's do it. All right, here we are at Hertzville Aquarium. Now, I must say this is the shop that I have been to before, as well as keeping a very close eye onto it on social media, and they always have some of the craziest fish. So it's cool to be back to check out both the uh, fish, the dry goods, and of course, the corals. And as soon as you walk into, to be fair, what is a fairly small footprint of a store, you can see they have dry goods stacked to the ceiling. And we've got a huge range here of uh, some Milwaukee solutions there, including some TDS calibration solutions, which is not something I've seen before. Heaps of Senai items there, even some uh, metal halide lamps, which is um, something you don't see all that often. Of course, plenty of HANA items there, some Red Sea items, Polyp Lab, of course, Red Sea. They do have some of the Fauna Marine Foss 0.04, which is not something you see in that kind of stock levels all that often, particularly in a smaller store. But um, I just panned the camera out a little bit here because um, there's quite a lot to take in here. You can see a good assortment there of reef uh, antibiotics on the side there. We've got uh, uh, Red Sea products there. You can see a Fauna Marine Continuum. Um, in fact, a good assortment of the Fauna Marine items there, which are a uh, very high quality a reefing product, I must say. There's even some uh, Triton goods up there. Of course, there's API. Here's the uh, Min S. I've actually used this. It's a liquid coral food, and I've got to say it is by far the stinkiest coral food I've ever come across, which in my books at least is a great sign. It is just like someone has blended a fish, and um, the corals do respond to it very well, so it must be good stuff. Over here, the wall of purple, of course, is aquaforest from their salts to their uh, foods to their supplements all of the items there. And across here on the end, we've got some uh, quantum products there. So some of their carbon, some of their salts, and around the corner, there's even more quantum products, which we'll come around and have a look at now. I can see plenty of Dr. Tim's over there. I can see some more uh, Aqua One products there, good assortment of heaters as well as Eheim heaters. Over here, you've got some Salafit items, their test kits, their um, calibration solutions and things like that. We've got NIOS up there. There's some Sarah test kits. Here is the aforementioned and a quantum wall with all of their uh, liquid products there. No shortage of dry goods. And check out the uh, huge wall of Hikari dry foods here. I think there are some other brands as well, but um, holy moly, Hikari, Tropical, uh, Ocean Nutrition. Then you move on over to Seachem. No shortage of dry goods at all in a uh, very small footprint of a store, but uh, we're not here to see dry goods. We're here to check out some of the tanks, um, including some of the livestock uh, inside those tanks. So um, let's do that. I'm just gonna pop a uh, filter on the camera. We'll have a look at the first little display tank here, which is this pretty nice little uh, system set up here. I think this may be a water box. Let's have a look at some of the corals in here. It looks like this system has just been rebooted, but um, there's some pretty juicy corals in here. Check out these uh, scullies on the top. You've got a solid gold scully there. He's just like the orange of a traffic light. Some other nice ones as well, but I was taken away by that solid gold. Got a big uh, symphilia, I think, there. I always get uh, lost with the naming of those. They tend to change them every other day. There's some pretty nice uh, gonies in there, and then we come across to some pretty nice dash here as well. They are sulking a little bit at the moment, but um, you can tell they are nice solid colored dash indeed 
But um, let's have a look at this other little display tank here because this one has not just been rebooted and it is absolutely loving life. There's some gorgeous gonies, gorgeous hammers, a beautiful big green Dallas stag in there. It's even a clam sitting up uh, kind of high and mighty up on top of the scape there. Beautiful Atlantic blue tang. Have a look at the size of that uh, creamy soda rhodactus in there. Big beast of a unit. This Sargonia Pora is beautiful. It's got uh, reds and yellows and pinks all through it. And it contrasts really nice against some of the uh, solid reds in there. But uh, have a look at this bounce rhodactus up on the rack here because it's an absolute monster. I'm not sure if it has a name. It looks like a forest fire with some uh, reddy orangey bounces, but it's a decent sized unit. But I do actually like the, uh, what I'm going to call the creaming soda rhodactus down the bottom even more. The big maroon guy. Stunning, stunning piece. But um, yeah, that clam sitting up there on the uh, rockwork is pretty cool not something you often see up off the floor of an aquarium so it looked pretty cool indeed and um the atlantic blue tang just really sets it off nicely coming across here we've got a nice little uh, freshwater display because there is plenty of fresh water fish in store as well it's not all just salty stuff although that guy there could be a bit of an imposter he's getting away with it for the time being this freshwater display here has got some uh, pretty nice plants in it my uh, friends that were traveling with me today said and um i'm going to take their word for it it does look nice but but um, I could not tell you anything about the plants in there other than it was jam-packed and um, there's no shortage of uh, little, uh, it looks like we've got some uh, tetras and some guppies and things in there just keeping them all at bay. But um, let's keep on going because I know we want to get over and check out the efficient coral because um, let's face it, the fish are probably what Hertzville's known for. I'm not sure what this big dude is, but uh, he's looking pretty uh, solitary in there. Let's head on over into the uh, wet room, I guess you'd call it. Um, we're going to just check out this uh, little display tank on the counter here because um, I'm not sure the last time I saw Z you're pulsing that uh that energetically but um let's head on across here you can see the first couple of rows here are freshwater tanks i'm not going to go down those but uh, you can see they've got a decent assortment of freshwater fish so if that is your thing hertzville can take care of you there of course and uh over behind me there is the uh, coral bay but uh, it's pretty jam-packed at the moment so let's uh, scoot around the corner you see there's some plants there as well for uh, freshwater systems you've got another row down here of uh, freshwater fish including uh, hellboy here <laughs> i'm not sure if that's just a nickname given to him because of his colors and size or if it's an actual breed but i think it might be a nickname we've got more freshwater fish down there but here we are with the marine fish now um we do just have the one well i guess one row or one aisle of uh, marine fish and uh, on the left hand side here it looked fairly basic i gotta say we got uh, some blue tanks some clowns got a nice uh, majestic in there it looks like uh, another tang. I'm not sure what kind of tang that was, but uh, fairly basic fish up into this point. You've got a big emperor, which is a stunning fish indeed. You've got a clown tang. We've got a uh, naso, beautiful Moorish idol, powder blue there. We're starting to get into some nicer fish here, getting a little bit more uh, exotic. You've got some yellow assessors on this system, some more clowns. What do we got up here? A little bit of a predator end here. We've got a uh, clown trigger and a uh, humu humu trigger. Over this side, let's see what we can find because I know the guys here have got some extreme fish and ah, uh, yes, we have found one here. Check out this dragon eel. Not something you see every day. In fact, this is the first one I've seen in person. I have seen these, uh, I was going to say fish, but I guess they're a fish, the eels on uh, online before and I have seen pictures of them, but uh, I have not seen one in person. So uh, super, super rare and uh, unique predator eel, but um, pretty cool fish. I must admit, I wish I did have my uh, DSLR there to get some good pictures of him, but uh, phone camera it is for the day. And uh, just in case you're after something a little less extreme or a little less predatory, check out these beautiful, healthy looking uh, gem tanks here. In fact, they've got a couple of them there to pick from. Really nice, fat looking fish, really nice markings, decent colors on the tail as well. Could not ask for much more in uh, in regards to a uh, gem tank there at all. So I was very happy with those three tanks there. It did uh, satisfy my uh, extreme fish requirements from Hertzville. They always step up to the plate and uh, today was no different at all. But let's have a look at the corals they have on hand because uh, despite not having a huge ray of uh, coral tanks, they do have quite a lot jam-packed into this central system here. And you can see plenty of torches there. Over here, we've got uh, some scollies. You can see some filias, some maize corals there. 
Good assortment indeed. There's a little double-headed scully there. It's quite nice. Basic colors, but pretty cool to see that one naturally fused. There's some big, big hammers there. Some gonies, some clams. In fact, some of these gonies and bernardoporas, I think the bernardoporas might be next to the uh, hammers there. Uh, pretty special indeed. I quite like that big central uh, showpiece green hammer there and a couple of those golds around it. In fact, there's more clams hiding up in there. Quite nice pieces indeed. And um, yeah, you've, you've got no shortage to pick from here. Like I said, they might not have uh, 30 coral bays to go through, but uh, they got some pretty nice stuff here. There's some big uh, frog spawns in there. Move on to some less extreme gold hammers and some more of your basic uh, hammers and torches there. Those ones are quite nice there with the uh, green and uh, maroon on them. Over here, you've got some of that uh, Xenia plus some more clams. So I'm sure that Xenia has come from uh, the tank that uh, has the pulsating Xenia in the front. Over to the left here, we've got uh, seahorses, we've got uh, snails, we've got shrimp. You can see uh, some pretty big peppermint shrimps in there. Those guys are going to uh, have a feast on your Aptasia if that's the way you want to go for uh, natural control which is always super handy. And there is one more coral bay here. We're just going to jump in and have a look at it. I can see some more Xenia frags in there, some Rhodactus, some Alveoporas. Looks like some Elegance, some Blastos, some Rhodactus. In fact, some of those um, Blastos are very nice indeed. Good assortment of Recordia in there too as well, from uh, some basics to some pretty extremes. You've got the uh, Cynarias. I can see Goniaporas there. There's that nice Elvio. In fact, there's a couple of them there. Pretty dark green Elvio which is um, something different to see and plenty of uh, those Xenia frags there. We do know how quickly they grow, but what a beautiful piece. Got some nice Akans, some uh, nice SPS frags there, some Scollies, some Fungias, uh, and we've got some Leathers. Plenty, plenty of options indeed. No shortage of coral despite not having a huge number of coral tanks. And I have to say, I was pretty excited. I'm still running the high after seeing that uh, Japanese Murray eel because um, what a showpiece of a fish that was. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my tour of Hertzville Aquarium. I hope you enjoyed it. I have to say I'm still smiling after seeing that dragon eel in person. Not that I really have an aquarium suitable for it, but it's just one of those fish that it's really cool to see in person. And now every time I see a picture of one online, I know exactly what they look like in person. And I'm grateful to Hertzville Aquarium for giving me the opportunity to see that fish. I only wish I had the opportunity to take my DSLR along and get some really cool pictures of it that, um, I don't know, maybe I could try and get into some sort of aquaforest calendar or something like that in the future but um nonetheless seeing one in person was absolutely incredible and also i was really grateful to see some of their beautiful display tanks as well as their corals and other fish for sale as well anyway guys i will probably wrap the video up there i hope you did enjoy it if you've got any questions comments feedback anything like that at all for myself or the team at hertzville aquariums pop it in the comment section down below because i do personally reply to each and every comment there it is the best way to get hold of me other than that guys enjoy your weekend stay safe until next time keep reefing cheers bye